In balance of payments, it records only international transactions, which means if we export a product to Germany, for example, so this means that we deal with other countries, consequently, we have an international transaction, therefore, it will be recorded in our balance of payment. But let's assume that we produce something and we consume 100% domestically. Would it appear in our balance of payment? Definitely not. Why? Because balance of payment records only international transactions. So if we deal with other countries in terms of trade and investment, it would be recorded in our balance of payment. But if we have a domestic transaction, it will not appear under balance of payment. Therefore, once we deal with other countries, how are we going to report it? It will be based on the flow of cash. It's either we receive cash or we pay cash. If we receive cash, it's called inflow. If we pay cash, it's called outflow. If we receive cash, it means that we will have a positive number. If we pay cash, it means that we'll have a negative number. Let's get an example. Let's assume that we import BMW from Germany by $500 million. So if we import BMW, this means that we will pay the cash. Therefore, under Australia's current account, we will put cash outflow and I will put a value. Here is negative value. Why? Because this is an outflow. So it will be negative 500 million. What if we export markers to Hong Kong of 100 million? So this means that I will receive the money if I receive the money. So I will put it under my balance of payment with a positive value. 